Hey guys, still here, and welcome to 112 Operator. This is the successor to 911 Operator, and it has a quite a few new improved features over the previous game. What I'm going to be doing is a new free game, and the beauty of the free game is that you can play it on, well, pretty much any city that you would like to play it in. Um, you can either select these through the globe, or you can type a city name, and even search for small cities and districts. What I'm going to be doing is playing this in um, Rotterdam. And you have quite a few different districts in Rotterdam. I'm going to be uh, playing on the middle difficulty. And this means I control a few districts. Moderate incidents, take regular calls and advanced units and options enabled. The way that this game works, you start out with one district. And you're going to go up to more and more and more up until the point where you're stretched so thin that you're going to be running into trouble trying to fix all the situations that the game throws at you. I'm going to start out in the middle, um, all the way up at principal. You can control the whole city and neighboring areas. I'm going to start with middle. Now, what you see here is what your starting area is. The way that this works, you have career points. And if I select, for example, uh, let's say the Schiedam area over here, this is going to cost me two career points if I pick this one. Um, I want to be starting in April name is of course stealth 17 and uh, let's pick Rotterdam 1 60.61 square kilometers I cannot pick that one. Oh, it's costing me 14 career points this is a large sector uh, well then I guess we're gonna have to pick something a bit smaller maybe this one and this one together Fondling a plot and um, one section of a water dump. Okay, let's start. Yes. Starting with normal, I know operator or now one operator, um, you do get a bit of a failed penalty. So if you have an incident that you are not able to solve, then the game is going to give you a penalty. And these penalties mean that at the end of the game, your reputation doesn't go up as much. And because of that, you don't get as much money. So let's go with normal difficulty. Now, as this is um, a game that, uh, well, it does really use the geography of the local area. So what you're going to see at the start of the game is that it downloads your local geography. Let's start. All right. So what do I have? Um, I have units one and two. They're all named unit something. I'm going to name this uh, POL Patrol 1. This is going to be POL Patrol 2. And this already, being able to rename parts of your units, that's an improvement. Because I believe that that was not possible in the previous situation. Uh, this one is going to be a uh, pole van one. Because a police van has a slightly different configuration than this patrol car. Patrol cars have a higher top speed, but only transport two people. And these have a higher, uh, or sorry, lower top speed, but they transport more. And they have a higher protection chance. Then we have two ambulances. This one is uh, an ambulance that does 100, can transport two people, and helped injured person bonus of 0.5. This one has a lower top speed of only 100. Sorry, it has the same top speed, also 100. Three transport seats, however, but it does not get that helped injured person bonus. So this is going to be uh, Ambu 1, and then uh, Ambu Van. And I'm also naming these things one because I expect to have a lot more of them. Now we have a fire truck and a technical truck. So this is uh, FT1, fire truck one, and this is uh, tech one. These guys are all crewed with the uh, personnel that they require. And I believe that as opposed to the previous game where you could hand out specific um, equipment to people. I'm not sure actually if that's still, oh sorry, no, that is still a thing. Um, you can set them up with basic police gear, you can tell them to go in unarmed, or you can give them the protected gear. Uh, consists of a tonfa, a handcuffs, a pistol, and protective vest. So these give you a couple of uh, improved items, but of course this is going to cost you money. Still, if your police officers are better protected, then they are much more likely to make it through the next shift alive. So let's make sure that these guys all get improved gear. 
And uh, maybe I can also do something similar for the medics. Yeah. The medics go in with paramedic gear. Basic medical gear consists of a first aid kit. Gives a 0.4 injured bonus. This thing gives a 0.7 injured bonus, <clears throat> a 0.3 um, injured heavy bonus, whatever that is. And they can help critically injured people. Special gear for medics consists of a first aid kit, a medical vest and a resuscitator designed to secure dying injured. So what I'll do is give uh, each of these vehicles one person who has uh, basic lifesaver gear. And hopefully that will be able to keep more people alive. And then for the firefighters, Firefighter gear or technician gear. Um, I'm not sure if one is better than the other. This is fire resistance. Yeah, see, this is more of a technical oriented job. Firefighter suit consists of technical tools and the fire suit. Technical tools enhance the technical performance and the fire suit protects from fire. So these guys get uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.2 and 0 0.5. And these... Hold on. Oh, they don't get explosion resistance. Right. Now, I am going to put one of these people in technician gear to make sure that uh, also the standard fire, cr fire truck can deal with some of the, let's say, lesser emergencies. You can also add new units. And in here, you're going to find the units that I currently have. These are uh, just a few of the units. There are definitely more, but you have to unlock them by playing in a particular area. I'm not going to be buying any additional units because, uh, as you might be able to tell, the prices are really quite high. And I only have 51,000 left. Now, I also have objectives, that is, depending on whether you're playing campaign or not. I'm currently playing a free game, so I don't have that. And you have an email that says, congratulations, your probation period is due to end on Monday. I'm pleased to confirm your ongoing employment effective. Now, this is just a standard welcome aboard. Alright, let's start. What we have is uh, these two districts. So this is a, a harbor district and this too. Um, if I'm not mistaken, then this road that you see here is a highway that I travel on pretty frequently. Um, what do we have? We have two ambulances spread out. We got a police patrol car here, another one there, and the vans over there. This is the technical firefighter and this is the actual firefighter. And the blue bar indicated above the unit tells you how much water they still carry. Which is important. Because if a fire truck runs out of water, then it won't be able to put out the fires. Now the plan right now is to uh, investigate this epileptic seizure. And if you get an emergency that you deem not very important, you can always click ignore. This, however, an epileptic seizure might be something that this ambulance can quickly fix. Now, of course, the name of the game is 112 Operator, and that means that every once in a while you will get a call. And people um, are going to call you with emergencies, and you get to figure out what you have to do, who you have to send, and how you have to tackle that emergency. Some of them you might even be able to safely ignore. Sometimes you might get a prank call. There are all sorts of different ways that you can handle these calls. And the better you handle them, the more points you get. Something I can add it, by the way, um, is the fact that once a vehicle is at the scene, and by the way, uh, take a moment to admire that the game actually seems to render most of these constructions in 3D. As you can see, these are all storage tanks. Um, once a vehicle has entered the actual range of the emergency, you can see a little situation report with the on-site tab. And it tells you that we have one person with an epileptic seizure and we got a couple of medics who are moving to uh, help that person out. Now this first shift is probably not going to be very problematic. It's probably not going to contain too much. Uh, here, a wrong way driver. This is not really a critical emergency and if I had my hands full, I would probably just safely ignore it. But, well, since I'm not really doing much of anything, I might as well tackle this thing and get a few more reputation points. Now, as you can see down here, there's another town. Uh, over to here, there's another town. And over to the north, there's another bigger part of Rotterdam. So, at the end of each shift, you get offered the opportunity to buy an additional district. That gives you more emergencies to tackle. But there's a catch. You don't get more vehicles, as I have figured. 
and that means that your vehicles are going to be stretched thin. So be very careful as you go about your business and expanding your terrain too quickly. Person's having a stroke. Immediately medical attention required. Okay, let's send these guys over. Uh, we're still in pursuit of the wrong way driver. If he is in fact driving the wrong way, then he's now doing that on the highway. We'll get them. All right, you got him. In pursuit. Yeah, he's being stopped. Reporting. <clears throat> Uh, let's have that other police vehicle just veer off and go to the other side. What do we have here? Animal hit by a car. Mm, not a, again, not a major emergency, but it is something that I want to go after. Fire. Oh, and we got a call. 112, what's your emergency? Hello, uh, this is Lee Hedges speaking. I'm a security guard at the warehouse at... Some guys are trying to rob us. Oh, they're being robbed. Okay. Um, how many? How many thieves are there? I've seen three. Alarm? Is there an alarm system in the warehouse? Yes. Trigger it. Can you activate it? I'm not sure if that makes any sense. Well, why is it that? Potentially sir? could scare they them off. They will run away. Don't you want to catch them? <laughs> All right, wait the for the police. The police will then. be there soon. Please stay where you are. I have two vehicles very close, okay. so this should be handled. Bye. Right, so let's go after this fire, burning building. A burning building was noticed, which in uh, an urban or not an urban, an industrial area like that could be very problematic. So let's quickly get after that. Shots fired. Okay. We can see people taking hits, and I'm pretty glad that I now went with those protected vests. That second police car is going to have to get it quick. Oh, and we also need a medic. Um, you only have one seat. How many medics do you need? Just the one? Yeah, you're going to have to turn around. The ambulance was going back to base, which I believe is somewhere over here. Here. This is where he was going. Back to the... Well, hospital or support post. Fire alarm. Technical job. A fire alarm was activated. Well, I think we're going to have to have a look at that then. Medical transport needed. Yeah, yeah. What's this? Childbirth. Yep, that's something else that I need to look at. Uh, these guys are ready to go. All right. That was the no. That was the seizure over here. So now the ambulance still has a couple of seats left, as indicated by the two open squares atop the vehicle. Going back to base. That should give these guys the opportunity to still help out with that emergency over there. Over here we got the vehicles which are moving back. They each have one suspect on board. And they're bringing those back to the police station over there. Now sometimes the game actually uses the correct location for a police station. Sometimes it just seems to pick one at random. I'm not sure how that goes. New call. 112, what's your emergency? We're stuck in an elevator. Help! Sounds like a technical job. Where? What's the address, ma'am? It's... Okay, over there. How many people? How many people are there? Four. There's four of us. Okay. Is there an emergency button in the elevator? It's not working. Okay. Uh, I'll send the firefighters. Okay, ma'am. I'm sending the firefighters to help you. Please, stay calm. They'll come as soon as possible. Goodbye. Let's send the firefighters. Now you could argue that this is not really an emergency. Because, sure enough, it's a nuisance for these people, but <clears throat> are they really in an emergency? We're done here. If I was very busy, if I had a lot of Operator. different calls, and let's say an actual fire, I would probably let these people sit in the elevator for a bit, because they don't seem to be in any immediate danger. Uh, they might disagree with that analysis, but that's tough you're gonna have to make tough calls in this game Standing by. speeding um Ready for let's Inter try to intercept that one over here we have the burning building <clears throat> unfortunately well, i might just have enough water here Go. they're in pursuit of the speeding vehicle 
Yep, they have them. Situation here. Two officers are arresting the suspect. Now, this vehicle didn't have anything to do, so I sent it out to an area where there was little coverage to make sure that if something happens here, I'm going to be ready for the next emergency. Which happens to be <laughs> one for the firefighters. Another fire alarm has been triggered. Um, yeah, we're going to have to check that out. Let's send the police. I know the police is not the Going fire department, there. but if this is a, a fake call or something that's not really critical, then I know not to send the fire department. Operator. These guys over here have reported that they need a medic. Operator. So let's send the there. medics over there. Ready for action. And this fire truck is still going towards the burning building. Ready for next case. We're done here. Alright, two Reporting. police vehicles stacked on top of each other is not great. Reporting. Let's keep one here, one towards the middle. Situation? Oh, they are slowly resolving it, the fire alarm. So maybe it's not something that the police or that the fire department has to handle themselves. What do we have here? A fall from stairs. Out of water. Operator. Refill your water. Reporting. We go here. We have another burning building. Jeez, we have a lot of burning buildings here. And a call. One one two. What's your emergency? About what? What happened, sir? Uh, I hurt myself with a knife. Accidentally. Okay. Where's the wound? It's, uh, it's in the upper thigh. Upper thigh. That could be a problem. <clears throat> if that's an artery, he's going to be uh, Can you tell me in a spot of bother, shall we say. It fucking matter. What? Well, it does. He didn't want to tell me where, we, where he is? Is How bad? bad is it? Well, there's a knife in my thigh. It's it's hot, and there's blood soaking from it. Mm -hmm. Feels bad. Sir, can you tell me the address, please? Uh, I'm just trying to help. God, you're such a drag. I'm going to hang up if you ask me one more time. <laughs> I'm not going to take out the knife. Because if you take out the knife, the bleeding is going to continue. Man, I need help. But I only can either tell him to take it out or end the conversation. Well, I can't help you by phone, but don't pull the knife out. It'll cause massive internal bleeding. Exactly. Alright, this is definitely a medical thing, but I don't know where it is, so we're going to have to wait for the trace to complete. What's this? Broken bone. Oh, my ambulances are stretched pretty thin here. Where's my other firefighter? Where's my fire truck? Fire truck 1, go and refill your water, please. Case resolved. Perfect. Go here. Operator. I need to get a little closer. What do we have here? There's a burning building, and here we have an unnamed call. Ah, oh, that's the guy with the knife. That's the guy with the knife problem. And another one. A stroke. Lovely. Hopefully, the fall from the stairs can be resolved quickly, so uh, Ambulance 1 can immediately tackle that one. Going back no, you're there. not going back to base. You're going over here to the stroke. Ready you guys are going to take on more water. I hope that this fire is not going to rage out of control. That's some other feature that has been implemented. If you have a situation, like a fire, and you have a lot of wind, then the fire can spread, and your emergency can double. So you're going to have multiple buildings on fire. Fire alarm. Uh, you guys check that out. Stroke is handled. Excellent. Broken bone is uh, <laughs> being fixed of sorts. Crap, they're out of water. Okay, refill your water tank. Case resolved. That was the fire alarm over there. These guys are done. Uh, I'm not really able to send these guys back to base. They first need to help that person with the knife. Let's also send the police over there just to see what's going on. Because I'm not sure if we're getting the whole story from this one caller. Now over here on the top you can see that there's no time left in my current shift, which means that there will be no new emergency spawning. 
Shit, you're out of water again? Returning to base. That's the caller. Ready for next case. Alright, case done. Ready for action. Roger. Clear. He's burning buildings. Yep, see? Fire size. It's increasing. That's the fire here. Jesus. It's a hell of a big fire. I don't know if I can put that out. I can call for backup. I can get another fire truck from a different area. Um, there's 10,000 out of my 53, so that's a big chunk out of my budget. Go. We're gonna put out this one first. Oh We've no! We've just learned about a major fire that oh, can take a no. large area. These fires can spread quickly if the weather is dry and the wind is strong. Send units straight to a specific burning sector. Alternatively, oh, send dear. units to the area fire icon, and they will automatically choose a sector to extinguish. Requesting Copy fire that. brigade. Uh, time to call that water tank truck right over here. Reinforcements have arrived. Excellent. Go 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 go. They're out of water again, but then again, this is a small vehicle. Going there. That water, or that fire is slowly increasing, but I don't want to repeat performance of the other one. So I'm going to try and put this one out and then deal with that big one. It can ignite the area. Oh, this is bad. Please put that out. There we go. Fire size is going down. And I should still have a bit of water left. Fire contained. Perfect. Go, go. Onto that large area fire. Reporting. Yeah, get that water refilled. Or refilled, not refilled. And let's see if I can tackle this one. Large area fire. I should have handled this before, but I didn't really have the vehicles to do it with. That's the problem. I wonder how big this thing has gotten. Let's see what these guys encounter. Oh, that was all? Well, that was a bit underwhelming. Uh, did I get a penalty for that? Yeah, burning building. Burned. <laughs> Minus 20 points. Fire has expanded to a major fire. The scene was consumed by major fire, so I think the, the fire might have burned itself out. Now, I got a 94.29% uh, efficiency. I gained three career points. Um, I spent quite a bit, and that means that my total profit was only two and a half thousand. So this is not a very mm, profitable shift, shall we say. All right, emails. Actions priority. The fire department analyzed the recent fire incidents and came to the conclusion that we're dealing with an arsonist. For this reason, all incidents related to fire should be a top priority, or should be a priority. Getting units to the scene quickly can increase your chances of catching an arsonist. Okay. Um, and... When a search... Ah, yeah, this is the information about the search grid. Sometimes you can have areas where you don't exactly know where the emergency is. And then you can send pre uh, vehicles of uh, different types to start searching the area. But that takes time. Now I have 43.9 thousand. I don't think I'll be able to afford another unit. Uh, maybe something smaller, like a medical response motorcycle. Yeah, medical response motorcycle. Uh, especially for these lighter emergencies, I think this one could be handy. Let's add this for 35 thousand. So that's going to be a um, uh, medic one. All right, I'm down to 8,000. This is all I have money for. Now I can add districts if I want to. <clears throat> I don't want to. <laughs> Not at this rate. Because I'm having trouble already containing the few emergencies in these two sectors. So, no thank you. I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, before the shift starts, I can spread my vehicles out a bit. Ambulance 1, 2, and 3. Police 1, 2... Actually, just take it here. Yeah, that should be enough. Let's go. Let's see what we're up against today. No calls for backup. What do we have here? Car on fire. I want you and the police to go to see if we can still catch that arsonist. 
maybe he's still around here somewhere. Uh, Slow down. What do we have here? Knife assault. Police intervention needed. One suspect armed. Um, I might need to transport that person. That's something that that medical bike cannot do. So let's send the ambulance over here. Broken bone. Maybe they're able to handle that one. If we can treat it on the spot, that is. Let's see what that medical bike can do. Uh, teams. These guys are going back. I don't really need them to because they still have a decent amount of uh, water with them. Situation. The suspect is being handled. Drug use in a public place. Oh, no, thank you. Knife assault. The victim needs treatment. There we go. The police are going off. Turning back to base with the suspect. And these two will handle it. Oh, what do we have here? Big emergency. Motorcycle accident. A motorcycle is hit by a car. Severely injured motorcyclist needs immediate medical attention. Possible broken spine. Shit. Ready for action. Right, these are the closest units that I have available. Let's also send the police and the technical fire department. The technical guys. Crap, so they need a transport. Going there. Waiting no, you're not going there. You're going here. One one two. What's your emergency? What do we have going on? Hello, I'm at thirty four seventy four Kimberly Drive. I was just about to start my car, Where? and I saw this man poured something all over this wooden building, and oh, he he started a fire. Great. I think we found a arsonist. Um, is anyone inside? Is anyone inside? I I don't know. It seems deserted, but the fire. Can you see I'm this person right guy. now? <clears throat> I'm sending the emergency services to your location. Thank you. Well, insofar He's as I have anything available, which away. I don't really. Um, <laughs> chase the chase guy. Him. Me? But what about the fire? Well, you cannot really put out the fire the anyway. The firefighters will take care of it. Don't let him get away. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm running. What, what is, is he, he wearing? wearing? Maybe that's going to help with the pursuit. Uh oh. Getting into a car. Oh, so he's leaving. License plate? Uh, okay. Six. Sorry, I can't. I can't see anything. I forgot my contact lenses today. Oh. It's a black car, a minivan. Well, every bit helps. They drove off. Okay. Uh. Wait for the police. Dan, take it easy, okay? You did great. Just wait for the police. They're gonna take it from here. Okay. I'll wait. Thanks. Okay. Well, what do we have here? Um, we have a fire, because a fire was reported. And the police are gonna be required. But this is the search area grid that I just mentioned. So there's a lot that They're needs taken care of. Searching for the arsonist. I've paused the game temporarily to see what other emergencies have popped up. We have a broken bone here and a drug overdose there. Operator. These are going to go to the motorcycle accident. Uh, these are Returning almost done. Base. Yeah, they're done. They're going back to the base. And then they're going to go right towards that unnamed coal. That's the firefighter thing. Or the, the arsonist thing. Awaiting orders. Uh, you. See if you can help with the drug overdose. These guys still need a medic. That's going to be this ambulance. They're always stretched thin in this game. Broken bone cannot be fixed by a firefighter, but this might. Broken water pipe. Uh, flooding the roads. Right, you guys aren't busy, so off you go. Police have dropped off their person. Ambulance ready. Go to the broken bone. These guys are checking all the sectors. We're done here. There we go. That's the water. Flooded road. Where's the technical fire truck? Oh, they're still here. On my way. Going there. Wait, another drunk driver. Operator, my way. Keeps going sectors, guys. 
I need to find that arsonist. Uh, the drug overdose does need a vehicle. It's not something that the motor guys can handle. Okay, search finished. You found them. Excellent. That means that you guys can tackle that drunk driver, and this vehicle can uh, take a position in the middle of the map to make sure I still have a vehicle on call somewhere. Ready for action. Emergency, broken bone. Off you go. Returning to base. So far, not too bad. 112, what's your emergency? Hi, uh, uh, there's a car following me. Um, mm -hmm. could you please help me? There's a car following you, okay. What car is following you? It's a black sedan. Um, the thing is, I actually know the driver. She knows the driver. Who's that? Who is that? Do you know that person? There was a guy at a party, and he was really mm -hmm. clingy, and I <clears throat> couldn't really get rid of him, so that's why I left. He's the okay. one following me. Where are you? Where are you? In my own car. I just drove by 1683 Surrey Street. Over there. Uh, I'll organize a I'll send an check. officer to do a routine check. Drive safely. Oh, thank you. Please do that as fast as you can. Ready for next case. The police van is not really the best vehicle for this job because it's a bit slower than the standard police car, but the standard police car is out of the way. Awaiting orders. Going back to base. What is this? Epileptic seizure. Operator. Yeah, they cannot leave because they're still trying to tend to this emergency, even though they cannot transport the person, the overdose victim. Drunk driver has been arrested. So these guys are going to be carrying one person all the way back to the police station over there. Can the police help out with an epileptic seizure? Awaiting orders. Need you guys to help here. What do we have here? That's the broken bone. No, they can't really do much. Diabetic shock. So many things can go wrong with a person. Yeah, the police are just standing around doing nothing. They cannot help. It's going to have to be waiting for the ambulance for them. Negative. Turn north. And these are dealing with that person who was stalking the other driver. Case resolved. Good. Uh, drinking in public. You guys are almost done and you're pretty much the closest vehicle. And on top of that, you're the fastest that I have. Good. Go. Okay, now we can help that epileptic. Trash on fire. Off you go. You, go to the diabetic shock. Report. Case resolved. Now, initially, the game might seem a little uh, constricted, if you will, because you're not really doing that much. Although, I already have plenty going on. Um, but overall, or after a while, you're going to be getting more and more and more vehicles and more terrain to cover. This is 112. How can I help you? I'm coming from the martial arts school at... Uh, uh, I think one of my students sprained his knee. Uh, we need an ambulance. Spraining your knee is not really something that you need an ambulance for. How's he feeling now? Uh, well, he's not very happy. Oh. <laughs> what happened? So, uh, this is a martial arts school. Uh, we're practicing throws. Uh, one student fell on his knee. A uh, few felt a crack and uh, that's it. Mm-hmm. Describe it. I need you to describe the injury. Um, the knee looks pretty swollen, uh, like a ball. Mm -hmm. uh, will you send an ambulance? Yeah, you're lucky I'm not too busy. Okay, I'm sending an ambulance to your location. Thanks, but uh, should we do something uh, while we wait? Uh, don't get it moving. Put some ice on it. Cancel that swelling. Put some ice on it if you have any. Even a cold drink can help. Okay. I think we can find some ice. Anything else? Mm, no, just wait. I don't think you want to be elevating the knee, although I'm not too Hello? sure about that. Nothing, just wait for an ambulance. Okay, ambulance is almost you. on top of them now. We will be waiting. What do we have here? Pedestrian hit by a car. Receive, Send the police the to investigate, and then we're going to have to wait for either an ambulance. Police going there. Is required. Requesting police unit. Receive, going there. What's this then? Standing uh, by. 
Oh, right. Hold on, what do we need to police? What happened here? This is the, uh, the martial arts thing. What do we need police for that? Another epileptic seizure. Okay. Ready for action. Come on, drop off We're those people. I need that ambulance Roger. back on call. They're... They're riding up a trainee? We need an ambulance going there. Alright, going back to base. Shift's order. almost over. Case resolved. Waiting Good. Right on my way. We just need to hang in there for another minute. Uh, damaged fire hydrant. Incident is blocking road. Could cause a traffic jam. Might need the police as well then. Although, over here at the edge of what seems to be a large industrial area, I'm not really sure how bad a traffic jam is going to be. See, if it, if it floods this part, we're going to have a bigger issue because that's the highway right there. Suicide attempts. So we can talk that person down safely. Yeah, the police cannot tackle a damaged fire hydrant. That's going to have to be the fire department. Awaiting orders. This guy's done. I sent you back over to the east. Because now I have two ambulances stacked on top of each other. Let's get the police going because they're all standing around doing nothing. Case resolved. Case resolved. Perfect. I think if I fix this one and that one, that should be the last emergencies that I currently have. Reputation's doing really quite well lately. 51. They're done. These guys are riding up. I'm not sure if that's going to go faster when... Or actually, they're not riding them up. They're talking them down. <laughs> that was the suicide attempt. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to help sending out more police officers. It might just be slightly intimidating. Done. Okay. Job done. Now, you also get an overview of everything that happened. Uh, the arsonist. I got a, a penalty for it. I got a timeout. So I didn't respond in time. Although I think I did catch the guy. Yeah, I solved it. I got the arsonist. Uh, Vince Paulus was arrested. Okay, what about the others? Yeah, they were all solved. We got one promotion for Julian Mavison. Continue. And I'm at 12,000. So slowly, I'm going to get a little bit more money, and with that, I can buy another unit. Anyway, with that, I'm going to stop this episode. In the next episode, we're going to continue with this game. Um, I intend to make this a weekly thing, at least until uh, I get bored of it. So next week, Thursday, there's going to be another episode of 112 Operator. If you want to find out more information about the game, there's a link down below in the description. And uh, I am looking forward to seeing what you guys think down below in the comment section. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I shall see you guys soon for more episodes.